Hey, recently I needed to screw a few hooks to the wooden surface. And this work is not easy, if we spin using fingers, because we don't have attachment for screwdrivers for those hooks. Actually, it's not even necessary, just take the same hook and stick it to the screwdriver mounting it. Now, sticking it to the hook, we can easily screw it using the same instrument. I've seen this kind of rim with digits on tons of watches. And now I know what is it for. It's sort of stopwatch. It helps to time from that moment. In order to launch it, just place 60 on its minute arrow. Meaning the current moment will be zero point. And then after some time, when you need to know how many minutes has been since that moment, you just check the minute arrow and watch face. In our case, it shows that it had been 25 minutes. Here's another cool life hack. If you draw from character figure and you can get it right, then you do like this. Take a journal flashlight and mount it on 45 degrees on some object. Point it to figure standing on a paper sheet. You get the shape of your figure which can be used to see any contours and eventually get better results. Even better if you use a sunlight. But unfortunately we can't control it like a flashlight. Wearing a mask for a long time you can notice that it starts to wrap skin behind your ears. This plastic bottle will solve this issue. Actually, you can use any bottle with a smooth walls. First, using a marker, you need to put this picture on a plastic. The length of figure is around 10 cm and depending on the size of your head, of course. Carefully cut everything and get this kind of product. All you have to do is to put elastic mask on those hook like it's shown in the video and it will not rub a thing anymore. Theoretically, you can make a piece from a carton, though then it will be less durable. Now I'll show you a delicious yummy recipe with just three ingredients. You need a mixer and a container, where you need to put around 250 milliliters of cold cream from a fridge. Next, you gotta mix it until it will be light cream. Now, take any condensed milk and pour less than half of our whipped cream there. Again, carefully mix everything. But do it quickly, so we won't get warm. Now put it off and take cookies that should be placed there. Better if cookies fill the whole bottom of a form, like we have. Then transfer our substance to cookies, distribute the smooth layer on a surface and place cookies on top. Mmm, how tasty it looks, I just eat it like this, but can't because now we need to put it in the freezer for a few hours. After some time, it hardens. We can cut the dessert with a knife and get these kind of wonderful ice creams in a convenient format. It allows you to hold it with bare hands. You can even seal some of it in the foil for instance and leave it for later. I think it's pretty cool.